first game. Yes, sir. You know what it is. More questions. Your boy getting it in it's magic. Bet that super hot. Thief can help us get some answers. Stream super hot. Hope Welcome. Factory is in Hope Town on Throwing down on some damn Starfield. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find just me. Yes, we're doing the uh, the old Free Star Ranger sense. thing. Good. This is your assignment. Meantime, I'm good hunting. Okay. Go to Polo's orbit. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Enjoying life, loving your family. You're getting it in. You know, doing what we all do. Pavlov's orbit. Okay. Do a jump skip and a hop. Mayday. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Approaching ship, you've entered three star collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. What? I mean, what about it? And I can't dock with it. Okay, you know what? I need to. I forgot. I'm. I need to. I'm piloting this fucking. Space pirate ship. Star station. Cantra. If that's one of the things I hate. They don't really tell you where. The main cities are. Yeah, they had a little, you know, thing here or whatever. But there should be an icon here if there's a big city or something. I don't get it. This is the UI is terrible. <laughs> there's lots, lots of shit to hate on about this game, but it has so much potential. Let's go back to Seoul. Like, honestly, there should be a, um, a panel that says, uh, fast travel for main cities, you know? What's on a new homestead? Hmm. To be an outpost. Sidonia. I hate Sidonia. Is Seoul supposed to have... Hold up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should just go to Sidonia while I'm here. I think this is the place with the, um, the mining operation at the bottom. I can't remember. Yep, this is it. God, I've been coming across this planet more and more often. I hate. Look, if I, if I click land here, it should it, it should just fast travel you to Sidonia in the city. That should be a mod. The mod should be let me go to the city or let me land on the planet. I don't know how they missed this shit. Stop in the name of security. What? Oh no.
to smoke everything, then fuck it. Basically, we need to go ahead <laughs> and uh, clear our bounty because we clearly have. You see, the bounty should be on your HUD at all times, just like weight. I want to see my weight at all times. I want to see my my bounty at all times. It's just so dumb. But let's just walk around. You don't even know there's a a bounty on your head. Yeah, yeah, you can get smoked. It's so... You don't even know what you're walking into. Dang, it's so, like, negligent. And they built this awesome... These awesome worlds with amazing interaction. And then there's no uh, connectivity throughout it. So... Now we have to find a fucking... And here's the funny part. I have to find one of those computer things. I know there's one on, um... What's it called? The main place? New Atlantis or something? like man I, you have to go online to figure out how to do this if I want to get my bounty taken off there should be a clear cut you know something in the menu like if there's something like a status effect if it shows you that uh, you have a status effect illness it should say okay heal it you have something in your inventory that'll heal it would you like to do that if you highlight the the illness or whatever. It's just so fucking... I'm the UI master. I could... Ooh-wee! Got a favorite that. Drum beat. Sell it. Sell it. Sell. Sell. I'm keeping all the legendaries. Staggery, sharpen, act. Okay. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always bot. Kiosk. Yeah, but see, UC security will attack me right now. It's just absurd. Where's my status at? Status. Crime. Does it not even tell me the fucking bounty right now? Oh my god. Wow, it sounds like treasure. Lifetime bounty, largest bounty. What the fuck? Dude, I'm sorry, man. This is absurd. There is no freaking reason. I don't even know my bounty right now. Like, this is just fucking dumb. My bounty and my weight, my carry weight on my ship and my person should be available at all times on my HUD. And even right here, especially in this menu. It's just so ridiculous. I can't even see where to. I got pick status. Where is it? It should be right here at the top. God, this is so bogus. Anyway, let me find it.
I think it was a coffee shop. Oh, Beamport? Yeah, it was like a... Bro, come on, man. <sighs> man. If they put me in their office, I would, I would take the shit. Easily to the top. Oh, I haven't discovered it yet. Fantastic. Let's see, just see if it works if I run there. That's how corny this shit is. Everybody's running for their lives. I mean, it's just really crazy. I believe there's one right here. This is getting out of control. All right. Oh my god, a fucking... Oh my god, dude. Obviously have no chance against that thing. I'm taking 2 HP. So whack. See, you get stuck in these little knots where it's like you have a bounty and you're in trouble, you don't know what to do. They can't even help you with the bounty. I mean, what's what's the fuck is going on here? You're supposed to be taken up, but it's just like, come on, dude. Here we go, Phobos. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. Just sit tight. The commando wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. <sighs> I remember that they removed all my shit. They removed all my stolen stuff. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Shoe sizes right. up your ass, bitch. I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we 
have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Would you get on with the show, my dude? I don't care. Yes, well, this is your only UC system, that convict. No, no you don't. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding it. I just want to see what happens. My instincts told me you were the right person, but I suppose I was wrong. All right, send this one to the lockup on Sidonia. Let them deal with the problem. God, Sidonia again. Just damn, boy. Still have all my weapons? What's going on here? This stuff is my enemy. The locals tend to stay out of trouble. Visitors? <laughs> Sergeant Booth, that be seeing you around. Alright, whatever, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. What? I just said I'm not gonna be in, in deep cover. Oh, you decided to do it on your own. What? Okay, interesting. Okay, I need to dock somewhere. So, in the soul still. Of course they lazily destroyed Earth, so dumb. <laughs> so they wouldn't have to do anything there. Things make a barren planet like the rest of the planets, so stupid. Cool, each planet has a... <laughs> Just wow. 
What was it? The uh, Alpha Centauri. That's what it was. So I'm gonna go here, change my ship, sell a bunch of stuff, um, then we're back on the on the road. Damn, them loading screens do be, they're like Xbox, the OG Xbox length sometimes. 10 to 20 seconds, that's a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, let me talk to the ship guy. Hey, what can I do? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches. Okay, no problem. Thing, we'll get it. Okay. I'm sure you can. Also, what do you have for sale, dude? 57k. What? Oh my God. I'm sure you can find something. Two hundred and seventy nine thousand. Hop light. Oh my god, this is so bad. Fuck. Alright, you know what? Let's just go on a mission. Like damn the shit you have to do to just get a decent ship. Those artifacts are the grab and armor. All right, going to send you. Don't know what, and from there.
Go check it out. Yeah, this jumping from shit to shit is wow. There's too much of it. Their pacing is way off. Like, look at that. I should just land it where my fucking target is. They have to interrupt you because it's like they want to do some. They want to inject some kind of gameplay. Like literally looking at. But see, they should have just. There's that piece of shit tower a thousand meters away from my damn shit.
Yes, the anomaly. That's all that matters. I don't understand how they think this is fun. That's where they screwed up big time. It's like, oh yeah. This is cool that you have these monolith structures in the distance. But man, the copy paste homework is fucking wild. They expect you to do this, what, 20? to 50 times, I think. If you're trying to get maxed out, it's just so ridiculous. Oh, shit! Everything else is good. It's like they were trying to build a technology their vision just didn't come together like it should have. What is, you know, like the... Yeah, their, their vision was too big for the scope of the budget and everything. It's like Todd Howard really wanted to make it massive and all that. The budget and the time frame just would not allow it. So the, they had to just say, you know what? We're just going to make a... We have to condense it into Fallout. With a bunch of load screens in space. <laughs> Sadly. But it's still good. It's still good. It just needs some um, needs some TLC. A lot of it. Probably another two years of uh, developer love, or maybe the modders will fix it big time. It's already been fixed big time, in my opinion. But like, see, you still have to do this trivial, like redundant, repetitious bullshit. Like, the monoliths on different planets would have been awesome if you had to, like, discover the coordinates and everything and fly there and... I don't know. There's a lot going on. Be right back. Alright, so let's hit this temple. We're supposed to have a mod installed, right? My boy, who are you shooting? Not statistically likely to survive this encounter. Okay, this idiot... This idiot's calculations are stupid. Haha, <laughs> I got you. 
Right, so let's, let's see if this is instantly solved. It should be instantly solved. With the mods that we have on. Because, man, this is one of the most redundant... It, this is supposed to be an epic moment. Nintendo is probably laughing. Fucking laughing. At Bethesda for this shit. The first time this happened, it was so awesome. There you go. There you go, instantly solved. Beautiful. And that's, that's how it should have been. There should have been a quest for each one of these towers. There should have been a quest for each one. And maybe a boss, and maybe, a, you know... The factions should have, should have been integrated with these, these towers, somehow. How are none of the factions, no one in the universe cares or knows about it? It's just wild. It's wild. Top, we got powers now, okay. Why does it not affect Vasco? They had this awesome universe they built and stuff. They just did not tie it together. So sad. But they came out with a decent game. It's, it's a 7... Actually, you know what? I'm going to say 8.1. I'm going to say 8.1 for me. 8.4, 8.6 with mods. But man, there's so much here that they... They should have said screw all the DLC. We're just going to make this something crazy after this. CD Projekt Red led the way with that. Cyberpunk is one of the best games ever made. One of the best games ever made. They put years of work back into it, even though they released it like trash. That's the example. That's the example for this model, which is don't ever release your game like shit. But if you do release it like shit, uh, fix the game. And don't let it fade into history as trash. You know, they, they said no. We love this game. We're going to take it into our arms. We're going to spend the time. Let's go. Fuck it. I have nothing but respect for CD Projekt Red. Man, they they made Witcher 3 and then Cyber... Cyber 127. It was so garbage when it released. And they fixed it. And then the DLC. I haven't even played that yet. I gotta get on that shit. Yeah, that's what Bethesda should have done. In the current state, it's it's good. But it has so much potential. Just like Cyberpunk did. They just kept adding amazing additions and performance and you know, new everything. Com vehicle combat, new weapons, better AI. I mean it was just like amazing to watch it unfold. That was like the victory story of this. 
it was like a gaming history moment, you know? Anyway, let's go. Let's see. What was I doing? I'm just talking my ass. I'm going back to the lodge. Okay. We need to start doing side quests because I, I really I don't even want to do like a whole nother thing. I love the new game plus mentality and they can make it so good. Think about where if you don't, you have to do new game plus two to get into this crazy dimension or something. See, I said go to the lodge. I should have teleported to the lodge. I suggest you take advantage of the opportunity to rest in a safe location. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. I think we're going to... Come on, let's see what that place did to you. Usually it doesn't. It's a long tail. Thought I was going to see light. If you do, good. Need to see what happened to you. Ever run the scum? Stole it. Time dances, of course. Tipped your ear long enough. Raise the thoughts with you later. Give us a show. That's why I missed your li Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Up to date planetary scans with it. And. Then we're hand. Let's deal. Back to the red shifts and gravity's pull. That goes my boy. Damn, man, it's like. Oh, use anti gravity in front of him. You got it. That's pretty cool, though. Everyone saw like a new and also the most practical consequence. Got no old shipwise for this one. So we have artifacts. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scan, but sifting. Not all at once. Don't think it's just plenty to. If you have a moment. I have something I'd like to discuss. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. We must talk. Soon. Why do you torment me? I don't know about you, but a fella can be a lot worse in Constellation. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but... I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. See that breaks immersion too, it's just like... Of course I'm gonna load my quicks. And I, I gotta agree, one of the big problems is you're just fast traveling everywhere. Like in Fallout and stuff, you're actually walking Ever since I got or running or whatever. Like These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. And that's where they can get you where you're like, you're actually exploring stuff. Here, you're just 
it's just cutscene to cutscene, basically. Or loading screen, I should say. The loading screen. It's kind of sad. Because they took, they took what was special about, like, Fallout and made a game without that. That's what happened. Yes, we have ships and stuff. I have things for Welcome you. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband and you can be on your way. What they should have done is kept it in our galaxy. Alright, we're done. If they kept it in our galaxy, their scope was too huge. They wanted all these planets and all this stupid shit. If they just kept it, like, within... You know, a couple of solar, you know, three or four solar systems. What's okay? Hold on a second. And you didn't even scratch the paint. So in essence, they should have kept it in one galaxy. Like, you know, maximum, you know, 10 solar systems and made them handcrafted, amazing spots to visit. Like, that's the big problem. A lot of shit's just barren and re... It's like regurgitated bullshit. Any modder out there could just easily fix that, though. A team of modders, I should say. It will probably take that, because... Just make one freaking... Galaxy... With, like, six solar systems. Or ten. Ten solar systems with like thirty planets, or maybe fifty. Like them all handmade, tailored. You know, like uh, they need to be all tailored experiences. That's what's exciting. Randomly generated shit is garbage. It's always been garbage. It'll always be garbage until AI takes over and makes it good. That has not happened yet. Please tell me you're here to help. Yeah, well, if you want to keep that badge, this old girl and I, I was tracking a crew of out bastards got. As you can see, I... Who are you to fuck? <laughs> I'll kill you right now. I'll be fine. The priority right... Just patch her up enough. Thanks. I owe you one. Repair the ship. Okay. That's another thing, games with all these useless items. It's like, people don't know what to do with that. I can pick up a pen, I can pick up a piece of paper, and it's just... It's useless, it means nothing in the scope of the game. So why even... It's just gonna confuse people, and also just... Sure, the engine's good, it makes sense that, yeah, you have a technical proficiency there it's awesome I can pick up a pad of paper or a folder or a coffee cup or that's really cool but it's way ahead of its time 
you need to be focusing your efforts on making the game interesting. <laughs> the game's not going to be more interesting because you can pick up coffee cups and collect them, you know? Like shit. Like, look at all the things just on this desk. I can make a coffee mug, blah, 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 blah. Look at this shit. I love that about the, these games. Don't get me wrong. But damn. There should be an option where you don't see the bullshit. Things that don't matter. Like, if you want to look at, uh, you know, shit that don't matter, you just want to collect stuff, there should be an option on your, on your visor or whatever. Oh, what in case there's nothing in it? How delicate. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Like, who is the director? Look. I can pick up all these wrenches, I can fire, I can do all this. Does the main player care? No. So the next time you build this engine or whatever. Okay, so I repaired the ship by flipping a switch. Oh yeah, so good. <laughs> just need to flip a switch. Alright. I repaired a, a an entire ship by flipping a switch. God, like, where's your imagination? Also, if, if there's no mod for, um... Fast climbing ladders? Don't talk to me. Thanks. That's... You're right. They were pretty. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo. Good hunting. And look at this. It's, it, all the critics are right. I can't even fast travel from here. It's so fucking dumb. Like, why? There's no enemies, there's no combat, nothing. It's just, it's just reeks of negligence. What the fuck? They tried to get too, like, the vision was too vast. Todd Howard was like, yeah, let's make it, like, crazy. No. He went, he went to Daggerfall lengths. Even Daggerfall is more... It makes more sense than this, because there's no... Imagine this. Imagine you have Elder Scrolls 3, but you have horse travel, which the horse is your... Horse is your, um... You know, your, your uh, fast travel. It 
It wouldn't work because the fact is fast travel is good, but there's certain times when you should not be able to do that. In this context, it just taxes you all the way. Because you can fast travel to places you've already explored. Everything else seems fabricated too, it's just like... Man. It's so stupid, like look. Type rock, gravity, temperature, cold. Atmosphere. Who cares, like no one... It's so dumb. Like they, they basically made a game where it doesn't matter what a planet can offer you. Cause you can land there, it doesn't matter. You can harvest there, it doesn't matter. Um, fauna, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's all residually, or all of um, Yes, the problem is that you have all these amazing avenues. All these different stats, it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm like, when I approach a new planet, I'm like, dude, this is a, this is a new planet. And guess what it is? It's another bullshit trap. Because let me open the planet map now. Oh, oh let me go and do another dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look at the star behind it. <laughs> We're trying to compare that with.
And that's why everyone should be mad. Because, man, you, you're one of the main... The main developers. That's how it goes sometimes, though. <laughs> Look, we all can't understand everything, too, on the same level. You know, Todd was probably like, Oh, let me all... Let me... I want some planets. I want everybody to ha have fun and shit. Let's party everywhere. Nope. Well, guess what? I understand the uh, the controversy totally. To have a decent ship, you have to go through a bus line that's. I'm born, baby.
This is stupid. You should have to hold the button to do that. This is dumb. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Do you need me for something? I'm taking <laughs> A whole nother shit. What's going on, man? Huh? Let's go ahead and cut it here, man. I mean, it's <laughs> crazy shit going on. Have a blessed life. I love you guys. Cheers.